So, we need to tune this bow. I haven't tuned it at all. I just sort of taken some guesses and then I was using the same arrows that I used for the Super Kodiak, but since this is shooting faster, it might need to be the same as the Kodiak Magnum. But uh, for you all that use carbon arrows, I know it's an addiction, right? You end up with way more arrows than you need. Well, I don't know if you have a lot of bows and I have one, 10 bows. So that's a few, a few too many. Um, but I like them all. They're all different, it's fun. So one thing I do is uh, put this wax in the, on the threads. And I do this with my broadheads as well. And that holds the uh, arrow, uh, the tip from twisting out because I use left helical. So they're always trying to unscrew themselves. And this is just way. So this is what I'm gonna do to tune this bow is I'm gonna shoot uh, two arrows that are fletched and then one unfletched arrow, all same length, all same setup. And that really starts to show um, how the bow is tuned by how, where the, uh, where the bear shaft flies relative to um, the other two fletched. So let's give it a go. So these, this tells me the knock height is decent. Um, if this flew up really high, I would lower the knock height or low, I would raise the knock point. The knock point, oops, sorry. Oh, here we go. Um, knock point is okay. I can fix it. But the real big thing here is um, this is too weak. So is what's happening is it's coming off the bow and the arrow's flying down like this and sticking it over here. It's not uh, snapping back. Now I can get really, really uh, I can take a lot of time on this. So I'll probably um, stop this and I'll go through the process of trying to fix this. I think I might have to go up to a 500 or, or down to a 400 spine arrow. These are 500s. So let me go uh, play around with this a little bit and see if I can't get them where they're nice and close. Then I can talk through my process. Okay, I think I have the arrows tuned up. Um, I had to go up in spine from a 500 to a 400 and uh, up to a 250 grain arrowhead. So now I'm probably, you know, at uh, over 550. I'll, I'll weigh these, uh, but sounds good. Let's give it a go. I know I could fix my knock height. I'll probably play around with that a little bit more, but I'm actually uh, quite happy with that. Um, I'm trying to use the same length arrows on, I've got a whole bunch of bows. Um, and I, so I, with my target bow, I dial it in really, really tight, like, obnoxiously tight spent a lot of time on it and uh, and I've done that with my bows in the past but now I'm just sort of going for are when they're fledged are they flying nicely you know like 90% good and to me these are flying 90% good uh, I'll slow mo them and see how they're flying but I think they're gonna be fine for for what I'm doing with this bow this is this is a hunting bow I'm not target shooting with this Yeah, I'm happy with that group. I'm happy with it. I think we have a uh, 
tuned enough. Super grizzly, super excited about it. It is pulling harder. I have not uh, weighed it, but obviously if it's shooting faster and have needing stiffer arrows than the Super Kodiak, it's, it's pulling harder. And I can actually feel it. Um, so I look forward to uh, shooting this more. I love it. Super Grizzly in the house.